Hello, and welcome to this 11th video on using Blender for video editing. In this session, we're going to talk transitions, um, two of them in particular, the crossfade and the wipe. Uh, both of them are done in pretty much the same four steps, and we will cover them now. As you can see here in the sequencer, I've got two strips already set up and they're just back to back so it'll look like uh, a straight cut if we were to render that. The first step in creating the transition is to adjust the positions of the two strips so that there is some overlap between them and that that period of overlap is going to be where the transition takes effect. So I'm going to start that now by uh, selecting this strip and pressing G and then moving it over top the first strip. So now I've got this much here uh, where the transition will take effect. The second step is to select the two strips. Um, the first strip followed by the second one but using the shift key on the, on the second uh, selection. So for the first strip I just plain right click on it and then the, for the second strip, I hold down on the shift key and then select it. So now I have both of them selected um, in that order. And that's important because that affects how uh, the effect strip is created. So step three is adding that effect, the transition. And to do that, we go to the add menu, effect strip. And for the crossfade, we pick gamma cross. And there it is. So that new brownish, orangey strip is the uh, crossfade. So if I were to play this now, you can see it, it fades nicely from the first to the second. Um, at this point now, the, the last thing to do is just tweak it as you please. So for example, let's say that's a, maybe you think that's a little bit too short. So to adjust it, you can take either one of these strips and then just change the um, change the position. So that makes it longer. So the longer the the uh, larger the overlap is, then the longer the transition. And that's pretty much all there is for crossfade. So let's talk about the uh, wipe now. I'm going to stop this and I will delete that. So the first three steps, what was it, um, are, are the same. Actually, no, the first two steps. So um, creating that overlap, which we have, we're just going to keep it like that. Right? So this section here will be where the transition happens. Uh, next step is to select them in the correct sequence. So I will right click on the first strip, hold down on shift, and then right click on the second. And then now we add the wipe effect. So go to add, effect strip, wipe. Okay, so there it is, again the same color. And if I hit the play now, you'll see why it's called a wipe. So as you can see, it's, it's like wiping. The top one is now being replaced by, the first one is being replaced by the, the second one. Um, so same as with the crossfade, we have the, the simple options of changing the duration of, of the effect by uh, just moving the, the input strips around so we can change how long that effect is. But with the wipe effect in particular, we have additional options. So if I select with my uh, right mouse button the wipe uh, strip, and then I go over to the properties here and I scroll down, you can see we have this option here, transition type. And this is the single, but I can switch to double. I can switch to a clock. And uh, the other option is the iris, which is that eye shape, sort of like from you know James Bond movies. And then there's also direction. So here's out without we're looking at, but we can also do in instead. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we've looked at the crossfade, we've looked at the wipe. The only other thing that I want to mention, and this is something I only really discovered recently, is that um, it doesn't have, it actually doesn't matter 
uh, what channels you're using for your strips. Uh, I used to think that, you know, I always always have to layer the first one and then the second one on top of that. And if I have more, that would keep going up and up and up. And then I'd have like a staircase, but really it doesn't matter when you create them. I could have, actually, let me show you. I could just as easily have my first one, uh, the first written strip uh, on top and then the second one on bottom, what really matters is when you select them. So I have select the first strip, select the second one, and then add the wipe. And you can see it still works fine. So you can have them one on top the other, one under the other, it doesn't, it, the first one under the other, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you select the first one and then select the second one. That's what makes the difference. Uh, so that's, that's it for now, and we will see you next time.